Okay folks, I'm going to show you today how to use the Averio software that came with your new camcorder. This software is pretty cool because it does a lot of great things like uh, it organizes things for you, it'll help you burn DVDs, it'll also help you share with YouTube. Let's go ahead and pop this into the uh, computer here. Just pop open the disk tray, put it in. Now the great thing about the Averio software with Windows 7 in this case is that it auto recognizes. As soon as I put it in, you'll notice the computer says, hey, there's a disk, what do you want to do? I'm going to click go ahead and install this disk. It's going to bring up the dialog box for me. Just like that. Now it gives me two options. I can go ahead and hit easy or I can hit custom. If I hit the custom like this, it's going to give me a couple options uh, whether I want to install the nav the video navigator or uh, just the, uh, the regular program there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the easy just to show you what it's like. Now I did have photo navigator loaded so it's just saying hey you already have this loaded what do you want to do. I'm just going to click on uh, repair there just to make sure everything's working okay okay that's done now I'm gonna put in the language I want English obviously so I'm gonna choose my language you could choose something different it's gonna go ahead and install that for me here we go and it's done with that now it's gonna ask me if I want to agree with the licensing which of course I do I click next and it's gonna go right into installing all the uh, rest of the program there and it's only gonna take a few seconds to do this um, this program you well you can see there in the background it does everything for you all the icons are just popping up there on the screen I'm not having to do anything uh, other than just follow along with the install okay looks like that's done I'm gonna hit finish I'm gonna click off of this by clicking this now I'm gonna open the program up here so here we go the programs gonna open up now you see it's a calendar let me maximize this so you can see a little better uh, it's a simple calendar. Uh, in order to make it work, we have to take our Vario here, and we're going to have to take this and pop the little back cover off here. I'll show you this in a little closer detail. I'm going to open that cover. I'm going to take the included USB cable, and I'm going to stick this right into the back of this. Now, as soon as I stick this in, the camera automatically pops over to this menu here, and it says, hey, playback on PC. I'm just going to simply say set, which is yes. You can see it's thinking there. Um, now this is automatically communicating with the calendar over there and boom you can see it's already importing all the files. Now it's going to pop those right there. That's the date they were actually shot. If I click on them it's going to open them up so I can play individually if I want to look for them and see which one of those I want. Um, if I go over to the top or on the sides here I can actually change the date if I had them on different dates and it'll show me what day of the month I had it on there. I'm going to go ahead and click on the calendar again. I'm going to open it up so I can see the times in, uh, of each of the videos I shot. Now if I go down the bottom it gives me the options of burning a disc, uploading to YouTube and things like that. For this tutorial we're making a DVD so I click that. I'm going to simply come up here, grab a couple of the different uh, thumbnails. I like uh, this one here, I think, of the butterfly will be good for the first scene. Yeah, this one right here for the second one will be good. Um, and let's see, uh, yeah, yeah, this one here for the third. But over here, simply click Next, and it's going to start the process. Now I did speed this up uh, as far as the rendering process, simply uh, so that it didn't take as much time for this video but it is very quick it's not in real time so it's not going to take a whole lot of time when it tells me it's done great I'm gonna hit OK it's gonna go back it's gonna import that I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this okay there it goes it popped out the disk now this is an AVCHD high definition disk it'll play back on most blu-ray players because it's a data disk it'll also play back on PS3 players because they play AVCHD pop it into my Blu-ray player, or in this case my PlayStation 3, navigate over to software, click on ABCHD, oh, there's my thumbnails, hit play, and I'm now watching it. So now I've gone from installing the software, importing, to making my disk.